Getting clients is more of an art than you might actually believe. You might think it's about some secret outreach hack and what's the secret thing to say to get someone to purchase my services? What is the secret message? Should I reach out to them on email? Should I reach out to them on Instagram or LinkedIn? Or maybe I should make TikToks. What's that one little secret strategy that's going to change my life and build an agency or build a business of my dreams? And I used to think the exact same thing. I remember sitting in my car on a lunch break making freaking cold calls. I was selling web design services and I would sit there. It was freezing cold all around me. I'm tired and I'm feeling lethargic because I ate some carbs that they provided at work or maybe they gave some donuts and I'm sitting there half falling asleep because I don't even like what I do and I'm trying my best to cold call people and I don't have a good script. In fact, I don't have any script. I'm just calling people that I see on Google and I'm hoping that they pick up but half of me is hoping that they don't pick up and I can sit there and I can say I did 20 calls and then I can get back to work and say I'm doing my best. And I remember thinking, what is this secret cold call script that everyone is using? I'm seeing people have success online. They're making money online. They're traveling. They're living a cool life. Maybe I just need to get a hold of that script. Why is no one sharing it? Why can't I Google it? This is before chat GPT, but why can't I find it anywhere online and actually get something that works? And then I sent a bunch of emails and that didn't work. And I tried all these different strategies and then I would wonder why it's not working. And it wasn't until I stumbled upon this principle that I started getting success. What I began to realize is that everything in business and in getting clients is all about reps and sets. You have to do a large volume. You can't just cold call 20 people or DM 100 people and expect to get insane results and start signing on clients. Now, yes, we do have winning scripts and winning everything, so it'll increase your chances. But the real way is to take what's given and iterate it, change it a little bit. And what you want to do is apply the scientific method to everything that you do. Let me explain. The way that you want to think about outreach is not that you're just some cold caller, you're just some person that's reaching out, but you want to approach this like a scientist. And what do scientists do? They make a hypothesis and then they go and they test it and then they gauge the results. And you want to do the same thing. Commit to doing 100 or 200 and then go back to the drawing board. How did that work? How many answers did I get on my calls? Out of the people that responded, how was my script? How did they react to it? How many meetings did I book? How many clients did I close from it? And instead of viewing it as like a black and white, I made money, I didn't make money, ask yourself, how can you make micro improvements and just do better next time? If you keep getting 1% better and you keep improving it slightly, if you keep tweaking it slightly here and there, you're going to end up stumbling upon something that works. And this is so true when I started running ads for my agency as well. I mean, I was making five, six thousand dollars a month. I started running ads and I started just wasting my money. But guess what? Month two, month three, one client came. I kind of saw which ad they liked. I saw the way I should speak to them. I was also getting better at sales. So it wasn't necessarily the problem of my ads but I had to evolve. I had to get better as a person, but I would always study. I would do a post game analysis the same way athletes replay their tapes and look at what they can do better. And then they change and they don't just do it themselves, but they have a coach or someone else from the outside, take a look with them and give them suggestions and improvements. Now I didn't have a coach. I was doing this all myself, but that's fine. So get this. It took me years, years to make a full-time income online. But then it only took me a couple months to get to 10k a month. And then a couple months later, I was at 15k a month. So how did that success come so fast? It's because of the scientific method. I saw what I was doing, I had to evolve, I had to change so much. I considered myself an introvert. And now I'm sitting on zoom for half the day, or even all day sometimes, and doing all these calls speaking with business owners. And I'm just some freaking kid with acne on my face. And I don't know what I'm doing. 
And instead of giving up, like most people, I went back to the drawing board. And that's what I suggest you do. Think about what you can improve. Think about your weakness. Think about what you can improve, what you can get better at, because chances are, whatever that little thing is, you mean to tell me if you spent one month studying that one thing you can't improve and you can't fix it, maybe it's sales, maybe it's prospecting, maybe it's a service delivery, maybe it's just how you communicate. There's so many courses and free YouTube videos and books that you can take in that one avenue, just that one thing. You don't have to learn the entire world in one month. Just spend one month maybe studying sales. And some people are gonna pick it up faster than others, and that's okay. But as long as you keep improving and you spend the amount of time necessary to get better, how can you fail? On a long enough time horizon, you will get what's deserved. I look at it as constant A-B testing. Here in the marketing space, we A-B test different landing pages, but why don't we A-B test different sales approaches, different sales outreach messages? Why don't we A-B test different mindsets on when you're on sales calls. And that's why I love YouTube is because what we're doing is transferring ideas. And even if you don't fully believe in what I'm saying, that's okay. Take something that you might've learned from my videos and just test it. Use your own judgment, test it with what you've tried. See if it works better and see if it works worse. Just make sure that you do enough volume. And the crazy thing is a lot of this is not even your fault. You went to school and what did we have? We had either you passed or you failed. There's no in between. You're so scared. Most people are so scared to make mistakes because they're gonna get a failing grade. I mean, think about that. How many people are so paralyzed by fear? They're so scared of trying something new. Maybe you know these people, but that's definitely not you because you're sitting here watching this video. You want to improve. You want to get better. You want to learn new things. But like anything in life, it's going to be a little bit difficult in the beginning. And when you're in school, they tell you that's not okay. If you get an unsatisfactory grade, what do you have to do? You have to redo the whole freaking year. You have to go to summer school. You have to feel embarrassed in front of your friends. Making mistakes is not acceptable. And then you're thrown out into this world and it's no wonder why you want to take the safe route. You've literally been programmed to think this way. And then when you want to work with others and when you want to mastermind, when you want to talk to smart people, what do they call that? They call that cheating. But what if we took this mentality and we just did the opposite? What if we failed fast and then improved and tried new things? And what if we didn't care about how many times we failed because we knew that was one step closer to achieving success? What if we learned fast? What if we improved fast? What if we worked together? What if we masterminded with other people that already have it figured out and all improved and all elevated so we are all rising? This is what they failed to teach us in school is that in the real world, all of these are positives. In fact, you're probably watching this and you're thinking that sounds like a great idea. And it's true. And that's why I believe that partly this is not your fault. You've been conditioned to be this way. And that's exactly why I even built the Laptop CEO community and that's why it's free. It benefits all of us to do this and rise together. Apply this to your life ASAP. Don't give up. Don't stop trying and give it your all.